Good morning, everybody on screen. My dear brothers and sisters, this morning, to me, this is a great privilege, great honor to me, that I am celebrating Mass on the solemnity of the assumption of our mother. I'm, a bit, I'm very grateful the principal, Simon and Lorraine, those who organized this mass for the children, for the families, and all of the friends, those who are watching on the internet. I'm very grateful for giving us all this opportunity to share the word of God, to share, to share the joy of the assumption with each other. May Almighty God bless you all and bless us all through this grace, through this blessing which we share on the feast of the assumption with each other. My dear brothers and sisters, on this feast day we can talk about many things. From the gospel, from the readings. But this morning, I'd like to share with you one and very important things, okay? There are many important things that don't make me wrong. But one, one of the most uh, important things I'd like to share with you. After the visitation of the angel to Mother Mary, Mother Mary was filled, was full of grace. When she said yes, she was full with the grace of God. When she said yes, And the angel also said, May full of grace. May was full with grace when she said yes and encountered God. When she said yes, then she was filled with grace of God. After receiving the grace, she goes out to share that grace with other people. She went out to share the Lord with other people. Many people say, May was the first missionary because she was pregnant when she went to Elizabeth house. She was the first one to take Jesus from one place to another place. She became the first missionary introducing Jesus to other people. Introducing God the Savior, God the Redeemer to other people. Today, I'd like to share this. Not only that, but she shared the grace of God with other people. The grace in which she was full. Now, 
she goes out to share with other people. And Elizabeth also proclaims, announces, you are blessed among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. May share that joy, share that grace with Elizabeth. My dear brothers and sisters, this is very, very important that we also share the joy of Jesus with other people. During this pandemic, during this environment where fear prevails everywhere, everybody is afraid of everybody. In this situation, my dear brothers and sisters, you and I have to share the grace of God, the redemption of God, the saving power of God, the mercy of God, the love of God, the compassion of God, the care of God with each other. That's what we have to share with other people. That is the grace of God. And we as disciples of Jesus Christ we all have to share the grace of God with other people. God with other people. Savior to the world. To other people. Redemption, the Redeemer to other people. That's what we are all anointed for, called for, Blessed for to take Jesus to other people, take grace of God, share the grace of God to other people. My dear brothers and sisters, on this feast day, let's ask God to give us the grace like Mother Mary, so that we, as Mother Mary, to Jesus, to other people, the grace of God to other people, you and I, like Mother Mary, taking Jesus, taking grace of God to other people. Amen.